hard to tell the difference between good and evil. I mean, there's a fine line. Is the snake that bites you out of the blue evil? Shoots its deadly venom into your veins just for walking down a path? Well, no, because we just don't understand the snake. It, it, must, have, it must have had a reason. Snakes don't just bite. What'd you do? Come on. Did you kick it? Or it's babies around? No one asked that about people. Oh, Dream exiled you. Dream blew up your country. Dream built a prison. And we were just walking down a path. He's evil. But no one stops to ask, what'd you do? People don't just blow up things. We must just not understand Dream. Did you, did you kick him? They asked that for the snake, but not for people. Why is that? I mean, imagine the snake. My babies were in that bush, and hawks were swooping in every day trying to take the eggs. I lunge once, and now you hunt me down. You try and farm my own venom and use it against me. You run me away from my nest. So, there are some snakes that just bite the pure evil. But they weren't always that way. You made them that way by treating them like that's what they always were. And sometimes you, you do have to ask the question, how did you get there? Because imagine the snake finally decides, fuck you, I, I am just going to bite. I'm going to lay in wait in this bush I'm going to watch your ankles go by, the clock ticking while venom slowly fills my fangs, and I'm not going to stop until you put me down, because I'm no longer protecting my eggs, they're already gone, they were stolen by the hawks when you chased me away from my nest, so some snakes do just bite, do I? Do you? Not even once. It's hard to separate good and evil. There's a fine line. Protecting my eggs.